They fast on the on the ninth day. The Tainus is Basidi. We fast on the ninth day. On the tenth day, Shnav Basal Chodesh Tana Snav Shay Seichem Be'er Vader Ela Inyan Akosu Vachin Atzmah Habat Shiur Dinei Asiri. The Torah says that we that uh, I the Eivish says I want you to prepare yourself on day nine for the fast of day ten. How? The Torah says the Sishtu Batashi eat and drink Kadesh Tuchel Asamas Basiri so you have the power to fast on day ten. Who Mavazek Kadosh Baruch Hu Yisrael. Because the Abishta loves the Jews. He only told them to fast one day, right? In Kippur, the only day the Abishta said to fast. It was for their good to forgive their sins. Abishta gave a command that she didn't drink, that the Inu shouldn't hurt them, shouldn't damage them. So why did the Torah say it in this way? Betisha, that you should torture yourself. The torture is not on day nine, it's on day 10 when they don't eat. But something I don't understand is, in the Torah, it doesn't say to fast. Uh, it uses other language. How come it just didn't, didn't come because out? Because the Torah wanted to say a more thing. You're supposed to fast. Right, because if you fast, you say you shouldn't eat. Okay. And because the Torah wanted to do all, the, not only not Seven eating. <laughs> but, but no, also oh, no. it includes the other thing, not to eat, not to bathe, not to smear oils, not to wear shoes. The, the, so that's the actual, what, the actual word the Torah uses is you, you're supposed to afflict yourself. Right. So that includes much yeah. more things. If I said don't eat, it would only mean not to eat. Okay. okay. So the Chazal understood these things once the Torah said the Lashon Inu. Why did the Torah call it Inui? If the Torah wants you to eat on day, why did the Torah say, afflict yourself on day nine, but you're supposed to eat? If you eat and drink on that day, that the Torah considers as if he was fasting. If you eat on day nine, it's as if you were fasting. And the Abish says to fast, and Abish says to eat, and you listen. So the day you fasted, the reward is bigger than the day you ate. Because eating, you're, you're happy. You eat. Abish says, eat some blunts, okay? <laughs> it's not, yeah? So the, here the Torah says that the reward of eating on day nine is going to be as strong as the reward of fasting on day ten. As if he fasted for two days. Because the Abish is a command. It's as if he fasted on both days. Because in Kippur, you can't uh, respect it by giving a, a meal. There, like respect every yom tev. So the day before. Therefore, the day before. Also, the sun is by a field of tanis So really, I'll tell you saying two reasons. One is that the Abish wants that we should have koyach too fast. Another one is that this is really giving honor for the day of Yom Kippur. The fikach therefore also l'sanet by not allowed to fast. I feel it has cholim. Rabbi Bishur Mutter l'sanet tanas cholim. I feel it shows yomte. Usually, a lot of fast tanas cholim on Shabbos yom. The mechomer can bear if you make it on Shabbos ki inuk commission is boy. In l'sanet boy, not allowed to fast. La yirch la biyishte vechoshu la kinnis sanal la cholaymer. You should eat. You should drink, and that's it's as if fasted. It's like. If you eat, it's as if you fasted. So a person so had a bad dream, there's a thing of fasting, but well, you don't have to fast. If you eat, it's as if you fasted. Mm-hmm. If a person really wants to fast because they're in a bad, in a bad mood, they, uh, they're 
they're nervous about this and they want to fast. Is ein limchus biyodei. The fish out of Yom Kippurim in a day of the Shabbos. Out of Yom Kippur is not like Shabbos. Shem of the cross the Shabbos oinig by Shabbos he is mechuliv to have oinig. I feel as though as boy. I feel as though as though Shem Tainus and Ena Tainus Chalom Moshe and Rabbi Shmuel Shpeches. If on Shabbos a person even for one hour says I'm not eating, so that even if he's going to eat later, but because he made a declaration, so that's the opposite of oinig. It's sad when a person knows that he can't eat until a certain time. If a person knows that, then he gives that, that's the opposite of all. It gets tzah. If a person just happens to be, he's saying another pedic tilum, another pedic tilum, okay. But if he makes a declaration that I'm not going to eat, so then that's uh, that's the opposite of all. It gets tzah. But when it comes to Erev Yom Kippur, that's not, the point is not all. Erev Yom Kippur, it's not all. It's all. It's all. It's all. to eat. Okay, he ate. He ate. So therefore, it's not a problem. He ate, he ate. Right? So it's a eat. So if he ate just once a day, in that day, he did the mitzvah. And the Rebbe spoke about this several times, um, including in the, when the Rebbe gave a bracha, the Rebbe said, that his father was very medayik, never to eat with two hands. Never to eat with two hands. But Pashtus, you don't have to go very deep here. Mustamad is deep, but uh, one hand is I'm not digging into the steak. I'm not digging into the cheese Danish. One hand, only eat with one hand. The Rebbe never ate with a fork. He always used one hand. My father yeah, describes yeah. to the kids, the kids like, shows them how the Rebbe ate chicken. He never used more than one hand to eat and he never used a knife. A knife, never used a knife. Also an Indian from his father, never to use a knife and never to use a, a, a second hand to eat, only with one hand. <laughs> Probably didn't eat them. <laughs> so my father shows the kids how he ate chicken. But no, he never touched the food. He only ate with a fork. <laughs> so he did he's a first. So my father shows the kids how you know put in the fork. Turn it turn. So how, did, how did the Rebbe cut the challah? The challah is something else, not the chicken, the fish. He didn't oh, the used a knife, but not anybody. Challah used a knife. Spoon. Spoon. Okay. One spoon. Okay. okay. That everyone. Yeah. Every person uses a spoon. It's fine. But usually when you eat chicken, you use two hands. You use yeah. one hand for the knife and one hand for the fork. But the Rebbe was medaic like his father. And there was apparently the word Mukubalam that had this thing. But once a year was a Yoitsam and a Klau that he ate with two hands, and that was Erevium Kippur. Why? Because it's a mitzvah to eat. It's a mitzvah you have to do it back a mitzvah. Have to do with two hands, with one hand. <laughs> it's a good question, but I guess Shabbos. It's a yes and a good question. I don't know why. It's a yes and a good question. I don't know. Okay, it, it's you see here in the Sefer it's different. He says Shabbos the mitzvah is oinik, and therefore there's an afkamina. It's a kul and a chumer, I guess. I mean, in this day is a mitzvah to eat. I mean, uh, Shabbos also, Shabbos you're allowed to have Tainas Cholim. It's like a Kul and a Chumra in each way. Shabbos, in, in one hand, we say that even Shoachas is not allowed to say, I'm not eating this Shoah because it's Hepech On the other hand, you're allowed to have Tainas Cholim because that's Oinig Huloi. It's like, I guess there is a Kul and a Chumra in each one. You're, it's a good point. I don't know. Yeah. There's, uh, there's a Maila in each one. In Shabbos, there's no mitzvah of Achila per se. The mitzvah is Oinig. Because for most people, if you're not going to eat, this is not very fun. It's like to go on a vacation and you have no vaca- no kosher food. And uh, all you can get is maybe a chalesa banana and an apple. <laughs> vacation is not so fun. Yeah. Right? So it, because the Torah says oinig, so we achila is already bachal. But Erevim Kippur, the mitzvah is achila, not the oinig.
No, his father didn't eat with his hand, per se, with a hand. It means he, he used two hands. He Regular, all year, beside that, he only used one hand to eat. Like sometimes you need, so like this, you pick up, no, 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 never did like this. Only one hand. Never used a knife and a fork. Never used the second hand. Only used one hand to eat. Erev Kippur used two hands. doesn't mean that he put his hands into the plate. He used a knife. I mean, a fork and a spoon, but not a knife. Not a knife. Oh, so by the way, to remember tomorrow that Erev uh, Kippur we eat krep lachtaka. That was a hacker. Okay, exactly. Uh huh. I hear it. Very nice. So I don't know if have that many. Swazim have that many? The, the, the word Tachara, the, the Bidak afterwards, but the word Tachara means covering. Ah, very nice. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So the same that is Malkus Mikva Mincha. Malkus Mikva Mincha. The Bashem Tov said that the Erev Yom Kippur, when they have the pushkas and people make a lot of noise, that that, uh, that breaks up the clippers. Those noise break up the clippers. As you see, Minigas uh, Rol is to have a lot of pushkas out on Erev Yom Kippur. And the Hashem said that this is a Indian god of Venoida that, that breaks up the clippers. That's what Asuda, that's my, in other words, otherwise, what, what is it called? Uh, Asuda. Usually, Asuda is called Lechem. Huh? <laughs> that's not an Indian kipper. It's over there. It says Hayoim Loi. So, no makeup, not to wash, had a fruit. It says Hayoim Loi. Over here is Faket, the mitzvahs to eat. Hayoim <laughs> Loi. <laughs> okay, um, and the second Suda also, it uh, Shukhnarach says we're not going to get there later. But not to eat things that are marbes azera, like uh, shumim, like garlic, which is the opposite of usually Shabbos. A person before Shabbos, we say a yeet should eat things that are marbes azera because it's a mitzvah of Oynik Shabbos. But here it's faket, it's also that's why you're supposed to have a candle, a little or a light or something in the room to remind you not to, not to sleep with your wife. But may have to be careful and mechlal to eat foods that uh, are not heavy on the stomach. They're not heavy because if they lay the dav in the whole yom kippur, not to be heavy. Again, we said that you don't that uh, we eat eriv uh, uh, yom kippur for yom kippur, but it's still it's like a regular yom tif when it comes to lachab de besus nakiya. When it comes to putting uh, a white tablecloth. Uh, Right, as we'll go into it about Yom Tov. So the Rebbe used to put on Beg uh, Adif, Beg Day Shabbos, out of Yom Kippur, ready in the morning. And you do it that the Rebbe's minig was to give out lekach. Minig is strong, but the Rebbe had the minig to give out lekach. The Rebbe used to stand for many hours, and anyone that didn't get a chance. The Rebbe used to give out later on a shine of album. The Rebbe used to say, Lashon and Toivam Suk. I didn't keep it also on a shine of album. He said, Lashon and Toivam Suk. Oh, yeah? yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, let's continue. A person that made a mistake and he ended up fasting a whole day. As we said before, that that's not considered a uh, desecration of, uh, of, of day nine. But if he take a fasted, he has to do tshuva because he did, he has to do tshuva because he did something wrong. The Abish said to eat and he fasted. It's it's not a yomtif min adin. There's no mile on the day. They said to eat in this day, but it's not like the day itself. is a yomtif. No, yeah, give me say it's a yom to. The minute is to make it a yom to. The minute then, how does this eat? Okay. Just because the Abish has said to eat, doesn't mean it's a yom to. How does it eat? So you have to eat. But the minute is all is to make it a yom to. Okay, must be them by Allah Chokha Mafonov. Therefore, what, is, what, is, what does it mean? It's a yom to. It's mutam and mabach. So, so yom to means you're not allowed to make a hespit. Only wherever, just like the din is, like any time when it's a yom to. Chochem, which is in front of him, of Yom Shabbat Shmuel, so he shemays, come on, Shabbat Chayin Einem, and Tzidik Adin Al Chochem Mefonav. Chayin Einem, and Metachem. Again, it's a Yom Tov. Yom Tov, we don't say Tachem. Because a Yom Tov, the Pashtus, a Yom Tov, why are we not saying Tachem? Because uh, we're standing in a, in a place, in a, in a place where there is, there's no Avonus right now. A yid is now is like it's like an ashami yaseda. A yid is like in a different place, even though Yom Tov doesn't have the same ashami yaseda as Shabbos. But yid is standing in a different place. Kilu do not tachem. Gam einen koyd malosa shachar 
Sprichas could show you not to say a lot of sprichas because those that have a minute can say sprichas for 40 days. Right, so make it short. Mm-hmm. Uh, those are those places that before Allah is a shach, they're maru b'slichas. Don't consider it a yomta. Me shenoik shalech al-basar kol b'chol, yomais ha-choyokim b'yomim, b'yomim she'en emru b'tachano. Interesting men. That they don't eat meat only on a, on a quasi yomta. What's a quasi yomta? On a day that there's no tachano. Other days they don't eat meat. Muta lech al-basar afilu b'lehi l'ar v'yomakipurim. They're allowed to eat the night before, like this year, it would be Matzah Shabbos. So they could have Malava Malka with a piece of meat. Isn't that interesting? Huh? By by four Yom Kippur? No, that, that, that's fine. I'm saying, I'm saying that there's two men hogam. There's a minute to to treat Erev Yom Kippur like a Yom Tov. So that minute is, there's a few nafkaminas. There are those that the minute is that they that they, uh, that they only treat it like a Yom Tov from Allah Sashacha. But before that, they don't treat it as a Yom Tov. So because they don't treat it as a Yom Tov, so therefore, there's a few things. Number one, they'll say slichas, because who cares? On a yom tif, you shouldn't be saying slichas. Even though a little bit slichas we say, it's like, uh, you know, we try, we try to be mamayat. I'm saying in general, well, we don't have slichas, right? But I'm saying, Shabbos, Shabbos yom tif, we try to keep slichas, tachanunim, to minimum. So those that uh, those that consider it a yomtiv, so they they don't say too much slichas, and the ones that do say a lot of slichas, in other words, before Lois Shach, they don't consider it a yomtiv. We anyway don't. Who you say slichas and I say simetuba? Huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's the reason I keep this short. Bets um, would want to say. But hey moment of a moment, it's a minig, not pretty as a yomtiv. So therefore they decided to make it small slichas to show you the MS should have been no slichas. Elamai, there's a minute to 40 days, or 10 days, all kinds of minhog and bustle on their zine. Okay, so we'll say less slichas. Yeah. Right, but we'll see. Yeah. Uh, we're not gonna say you know, okay, right. We're not going to be saying that. Okay, Mishanoi. If you look at Mishanoi, I'm going to say that. It's interesting. Who has this minute today? Anyway, it's interesting just to see what's the gather of the of the Erev Yom Kippur. It's a special day. It's an interesting day. The minute is all to turn it in. Why? Because the Abish is showing his chib at the Kalal Yisrael. This is one day that the Abish shows how much he loves the Eden. More even than Yom Kippur, because Yom Kippur they have a voinus, so they have to fast to be machapa for that voinus. But this day, David shows how much he loves the Yid, that he did because David doesn't want the Yid to be unhealthy. So he says, I want to give you a mitzvah to eat, and I'll consider it as if you fasted. So the mail, it's a special day. You shouldn't eat any meat before it says a chamish alayr 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 yom kippur av bisha pal arvis and bay yom lafisha en choishum yom tev el balal amamish. Even those that consider the day plus the night, in other words, 24 hours as a yom tev, but it's only from says a kicham. Why? For the emrim tachan achara tfilasam en chashal chestish. The minig is that we say tachanon on chestish day. Bishor yom em shein emrim tachanon ein emrim tachan afilo em mincha shalafneyem. Like a Rishchodesh. Right. Rishchodesh, so the, the Mincha before, you already don't say Tachron. Mi Klal. She'erev Yom Kippur. Ein machzikin li Yom Tev. Elam Tzai Sakachon and V'yela. It's not like a regular, by a regular, like Rishchodesh. Rishchodesh, we don't say Tachron. But the Mincha before, we already don't say Tachron. 
But over here, the day eight, we do say Tacha. The Raya, that it, it only starts from Tzai Yeah, but I'm saying, we always treat the Mincha before that is already Mincha Erev Shabbos, we don't say Tacha. Mincha Erev Shabbos, we don't say Tacha. So here you were saying, but 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 it, but we do say on Ches Tishrei we say Tachem. So Megiddo Zeraya that the that the the right. In other words, the regular Shabbos we already have Shlitz Achdusha Shabbos Nachal yet. We're already treating it with a certain Indian Kilu with Shabbos already. There's certain things that we treat it. Huh? Uh-huh. I hear. No, the, 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 well, I think not the mitzvah, the minig, the minig to treat it, that's mitzvah, the minig, the mitzvah is the passion is the day. It's the minig of making it a special day, that's this, the minig chalukas, those that are noyig to turn it into like a yomtiv, to treat it like a yomtiv. Only from the morning, from Allah Sashacha. And those, the other ones are Noyik from Tzayzakacham. But he wants to say, but everyone is going to agree that before Tzayzakacham, we're not treating it as a yom. Yeah. But we're still, still wash on this. Yeah, the Minigis are all is to have uh, Chala. I mean, that's a Suda, like I said before. Otherwise, okay. what the Suda, you have to two Sudas. Right. The first Suda you have to, uh, yeah, and it's good to have a Shlema. And uh, Menig Yisrael, there has to be a reason for every Menig. The Menig Yisrael is to have round chalas. Not like, um, oh, sorry, I'm raising this. <laughs> but there's a psa'in in it, not like Shabbos, that the Shabbos, the chalas are like sort of long, braided usually, or whatever it is. There's all kinds of, uh, exactly, exactly. Pashtas, because those Shabbos chalas have a connection to Lechem on them. So, um, so the braids, Pashtas are like, because there's a lot, we want to have like Yud Beis Lachmim, so that's Pashtas, the idea of the braids. Besides that they're cute and they're nice, yeah. and it's a nice way of making Chalas, but Pashtas, the braids have a connection to Lachem upon him because Yud Beis Lachem, so it looks like there's, Shenkin Yom Tev is a different, there's uh, is a different, uh, so therefore there's round Chalas. Does anyone here have a minute to, the minute to make hand Chalas? Uh, yeah. Or lighter chalas? Your wife does lighter chalas? Which day? Which days? Oh. oh. Okay, fine. Okay, so, so. so some people have a minig um, on Shaina Rabe to make a lighter chala. So I get the pickle. And um, and some people have a minig, a Roshona, Ervium Kippen, a Shaina Rabe to make hand chala. Yeah, my wife made. She made for Rosh Hashanah. Now your wife makes hand challah. Yeah, Rosh Hashanah usually, and it lasts for Yom Kippur and sometimes for Sukkot too, but uh, not usually, you know. No, hand challah means homemade challah or in the shape oh. of a hand. No, homemade challah, not the shape. Oh of a hand. no, 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 no! I, was, I never heard this before. I never oh, heard. I was, oh, yeah. my house, the so medayik. It's a chas <laughs> Oh, chas v'shalom, you didn't make hand challah. This was a different thing. Hand challah, hand challah is you take a dough and you go like this and then you make the, you cut the shape. And it's the shape of a hand, shape of davening. So, yeah, yeah. Take, I never heard that before. Some people put a key in the house. Big, right? big piece of dough. Oh, that's after Pesach. They put a key in the house. After Pesach. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I was just wondering. Such a, it's such a big mitzvah. I was wondering if anyone else. Uh, <laughs> By the way, is there? I know uh, that Shmuel, like you said, is accustomed to have round raisin challah. Is there also a custom to have Ram raising the over of Rosh Hashanah? Yeah. Yeah. We, we yeah, for the 21 days for yeah. the Rosh Hashanah, that, that season, the 21 yeah. days. We actually had Ram raising the Rosh Hashanah. Oh, good. That's yeah. it. Isaiah went into the Albany Bakery, if you remember that. It doesn't, 
existed for years and ages. Was a, one of the old Brooklyn breakeries it was in Albany, the corner. They used to ship around them. Yeah. So in the early years, and he said, Shabbos, how could there not be? There used to be an old minute to have chalas. And you had a chala, and on top you had a piece of dough. And he made like 12. So it looked like there was six. There was like, it was Yud Beis Lachman. So you had two chalas, and each chala had a, a, like a piece of dough on top, and you would knip it, and it looked like there was six. So that was Yud Beis Lachman. So uh, they asked, uh, it's like funny, why would he think of it? But uh, so he went in there and he showed them how to make it. And for years, they used to talk and make that, that uh, used to, an Albany bakery used to make that challah. No? Yeah, it was a minute. It was an old, you, no, <laughs> he, got the, he got the good smell. It always smelled good in my grandfather's house because he was the first house behind the bakery. Exactly. <laughs> Now, the reason I'm telling you this is like interesting is that minig, you think, but that's it. Look, it's a minig is it all, minig noshim skenas. Again, why not a vinam alkena? Because it's like we treat it like a yomtev. We're treating it like a shabbos, shabbos yomtev. We don't say vinam alkena. Yeah. I know. The, that's why the Friedrich had ever said, the Minik Chabad is, he said, uh, he said, but today there's Tzoros all over the world. What are you going to say? You know, why? You're not going to say, Lama Tzachyam? Okay. So anyway, the Minik, I just want to say that the Minik Chabad, the Friedrich had ever said, that he, also in those days that are not a Yom Tzorah, so we don't say it in the Tefillah, we don't say it like Shabbos and Yom Tif. You can't say Yant Hashem Yom Tzor in the Tfilah because it's not a Yom Tzor. Shabbos there's no Tzoras. But for there's problems in the world. So the Alter so the Friedrich ever said that we should say it right after Davening. So that's Takaminik Chabad to say it as a Chelik and Tehillim, not to say it as a Chelik of Tfilah. Saying it a Chelik Tfilah, it's like you're declaring that it's a Yom Tzor. You're not allowed to say in Shabbos that it's a Yom Tzor. But uh, but you're saying it as Tfilim. Again, we're treating it like a yom tov. So how are you going to say it's a vim alkenu? Yes, we're going to say it's a vim alkenu. 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 We're going to say Anyway, this year it's not Shaykh. So this is the fact that it's not Malkeinu and Erev Yom Kippur. Right, I'm saying if Yom Kippur was on Shabbos, if Yom Kippur was on Shabbos, you only say Erev Yom was on Friday. Right, exactly. By Neila. So then, so uh, yeah. So they're, okay, but that's not in the game for this year. The the Welt says, uh, Vinu Malkeinu, No, but I'm saying on a regular, where Friday morning we're also saying. If it was, so we, that's what, so we're also saying it uh, if it's a Shabbos. But this year it's not a Shabbos. So therefore we don't say Avinu Malkeinu because we're treating it like a Shabbos. We're treating it like a Yom Tov. You tell me. You, you tell me. What do you think? I don't know. Just. The, the Swadim do say uh, every, 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 minig is, every Minig Yisrael has an, an, an unas of reasons because uh, that's the beauty of a Minig. So yeah, you're probably right. There's no question. Why is it called Lekach? Why is it called Lekach? It's a funny name for cake. But Pashas, you're right because it's a Remez. It's a remez. A lot of time, it's a dog. I, I think you're right. It's not just a joke. Why did they even call it lekach? Lekach is, it's come, it's not a word. It's not a German word. It's not a, it's a, It's taking. You take. Lekach. Uh, 
The Pashtus, you're right. That's why. Because, yeah, for sure, no, what are they talking about? That's why there's a minig when you take a child into Cheder and you give him honey cake and, uh, uh, and they say psukim. And one of the psukim is there's a whole ceremony of Ashkenazim that uh, when a child, yeah, when they take the Cheder, a big, big thing. And uh, one of the thing is to bake a lekach, to bake a cake, a honey cake, and the idea is to teach a child that Torah is very sweet. And then you put honey on a chart with love bays, you throw candies over the kid while the kid, while the teacher is showing him the olive bays, you throw candies. And this is all to emphasize that lekech toiv nasati lechem toirosi al tazoiv. But the truth is, the going to Ched is not Mamish always with the Upshamish. Some people do it uh, even a year later or whatever. It's not Mamish always the same time. But Lekach, uh, Zeb Shalhof and Taka, we should have Lekach Toiv Masata Lechem. We should all feel the Masika Satoid of this year. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Yeah, boxes, boxes. Well, yeah, I've actually seen a video. What is it, Pesach? Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, so I didn't know. It, it, uh, I didn't know. I'm going to start buying, and I'm buying a bagel hold. I have to go buy by Chaim Alevi bagels. Yeah? Yeah. He told me he makes them for free. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Ah. It's a shame, no one. If, it's, if we had one, you would put it in for us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Rabbi Kirschenberg is coming. Okay, thank you everyone that was joining us tonight. Okay, fine. Thank you, Rabbi. Sure, good tonight.